Hello, Doraemon. Hello, teacher. How are you, Mister? I am very happy. That's good. Um, can you tell me how many hours are there in one day? There are twenty-four hours in one day. How many minutes are there in a day? There are one thousand four hundred and forty minutes in a day. Get it. How long does it take for the Earth to orbit the Sun? It takes one year for the Earth to orbit around the Sun. Very good. What is the imaginary line goal that the Earth spins on? It's an axis. Good. How many time zones do we divide Earth into? We divide Earth into 24 time zones. Good. If you want to leave a country, What's the one thing that we need? We need a passport. Uh, do you have a passport? No, I don't. Um, where does energy come from? Energy comes from the sun, wind, and fossil fuels. And are, what are the fossil fuels? Fossil fuels are oil, coal, and natural gas. What do cars and trucks use for energy? Are the fossil fuels renewable or non-renewable? Fossil fuels are non-renewable. Good. And what's the difference between renewable and non-renewable? Renewable means we can use again and again. Non-renewable is means it's gone forever. And can you play a musical instrument? No, I can't. What's your favorite instrument to listen to? I like to listen to a flute. A flute. Um, what instruments can you see in an orchestra? Try and name about six if you can. I can see cellos, trombones, mm -hmm. uh, trumpets, mm -hmm. tubas. Mm -hmm. Think of string instruments. Pianos mm -hmm. and any percussion instruments? Drums maybe. Good. What does the conductor of an orchestra do? The conductor uses a button to conduct the orchestra. Good. Do large instruments have a higher or lower sound than small instruments? Lower sound. Good. How are music and noise different? Music is nice to listen and noise is just loud. It's loud. It's not a nice sound, right? Good. Okay, let's start with this. Okay, what pets do you or your friends have? What pets do you have? Do you have any pets? No, I don't. What animals have you seen on television? I'm seeing cats and dogs everywhere. Okay. Where else can you see a lot of animals? In the zoo. What is the most interesting animal in the zoo? Hmm. I think a giraffe. Giraffe. Do you live in a town or country? In a town. Who lives with you? My dad and my mom. Which is the nicest room in your house? My bedroom. Okay. Not to say teacher Joe's class. What can you see from your window? In my picture, it's half past three. In my picture, it's three o'clock. Good. In my picture, oh, we're talking about the difference. Okay, in my picture, there is a picture of two planes. In my picture, there is a picture of a plane, one plane. Good. In my picture, there are four tables. In my picture, there are three tables. Good. In my picture, the tables have flowers on them. In my picture, the tables have flowers. Good. Okay, okay so I'm going to...
going to ask you about Miss Sarah Green, and you are going to ask me about Mr. John Green. Okay? So, how old is Miss Sarah Green? Mrs. Sarah Green. Miss Sarah Green is 45 years old. Where does she live? Good. What does she do for work? She is a doctor. What are her hobbies? She does play golf and going to the cinema. Good. How many children does she have? She has three children. Good. Okay, ready? Now you ask me about Mr. John Green. How old is Mr. John Green? He's 52 years old. He must be a grandfather. <laughs> Where does Mr. John Green live? He lives at 40 Lake Road. What town is he? What does he do for work? Yes. He's a businessman. What does he like to do? He likes to go fishing and he likes painting. How many children does he have? Uh, Mr. John Green is a small man, so none, zero. Right, are you ready to start the story? Sorry, Mom. Okay, you could choose between this one, this one, or this one. Which one would you like to do? The second one. The second one, sure. Okay, what should we name him? Joe. <laughs> okay, Joe. Tell us a story about Joe. It is Joe's birthday today. The person he likes most is... Uh... Is ice skates? He went outside to try, but he fell into a cold puddle. Luckily, his dog helped him and pulled him out of the pond. Very good, Mr. Superstar. 10 points. High five. Well done.